Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about JSP Expression Language. The JSP Expression Language enables easy access to application data contained in Java based components. JSP Expression Language allows you to write expressions that are both arithmetic and logical. In the JSP expression language expressions, you can use integers, Darwin point numbers, text, boolean, constraint, true and false, and null. Simple syntax. When you specify an attribute value in JSP text, you usually just use string and as an example here you can see a code example you can go through it for each of these attribute value JSP EL JSP expression language allow you to specify and expression the following is a simple syntax for JSP expression language. Here you can see a code example. You can go to it. The expression itself is specified by here in JSP expression language the most popular operations and R uh, and these two operations allow you access mainly Java B and build a JSP object characteristic. For example, the stack that mentions above can be with an expression like here you can see a code example, you can go through it. When the prompt appends an attribute, the JSP compiler create code to evaluate the expression and substitute the value of expression. For a tag of can also employ JSP EL expressions within template content. The JSP text tag from, from example simply instead in contained in the body of JSP. The JSP tag substitute the following entries. This is tag in the JSP output. Here you can see the code example, you can go through it. You may now use the same syntax for attribute of include a JSP expression language expressions in the body of JSP text tag or any other text an example here you can see a code example you can go through it brothers can be used to group sub extension in expression lang uh, expression language expression for increased 3 equal 9 but equal 7 2 disables the evaluation of EL expressions we use the page directly is EL in order attribute as shown here you can 
see a code example you can go to it this attribute has two allowed values true and false is this true elx station is static text or text attribute in no if it is false to convert evaluate el expressions let's talk about basics el operations jsp expression language support the majority of java automatic logic operations the table below lists the most often used operation this means get to be property or map entry this means access and error or listen elements this is it group a uh, sub explanations to change the evaluation order this mean addition this mean value subtraction or negation this is it multiplication this is it division this is is modular this mean equality check this mean equality in equality check this mean equality check this mean in equality check this mean check for from this mean check for the less than this mean greater than test this is it test for less than or equal this mean test for greater than or equal this mean test for logic and this is it test for logical or r this is it an array boolean compound complement empty this this mean test from empty value well, values let's talk about jsp el function jsp el also support the use of function in expressions custom type libraries must contain from the function the sign syntax from using function is and follows here you can see a code example you can go to it where donate the functions name shape funds donate the functions name and parallel param first is the value of first parameters consider the jstl libraries function fmlet as an to d remember the strict length use a following syntax here you can see a code example you can go through it to use a function from any tag libraries you must first install it on your server server you can the include in it your jsp using the deactivate or disable the jsp chapter jsp el object the following empty object support by jsp expression language 
page scope scope variables from page scope request scope scope variable from request scope session scope scope variable from session scope application scope scope variable from as application scope param request parameters as string param values request parameters as collection of strings header http request headers as strings header values http request headers as collections of strings init param par context in Nearly initial parameters, cookies, cookie values, page context, the JSP page context object from the current page. This object can be used in expression must like variables. The example, the following will assist you in comprehend of concept. Let's talk about. You can access the page context JSP, the page context object. You can access the page context object uh, why a uh, page content object. The request object can be accessed the why a page context object to object income the incoming query string for a request for example the explanation so here you can see a code example you can go through it let's talk about object in the scope variable is stored at each scope level are accessible the right uh, we are a page scope requesting scope session scope and application scope variable from example if you need to access the box variable explain uh, application scope you can do so by a uh, application scope variable as application scope box let's talk about the param and param values object the param and param value object provide access the parameters value that as ordinarily able to wipe a request request and uh, get parameters get parameters value methods are able to access parameters named order from example use the test here you can see a code example you can go through it the following example how to get request parameters called username here you can see a code example you can go through it The param object returns sig uh, single string values, whereas the param uh, values object return array of string value. Let's talk about header and header value object. The header and header value class provide access to the header values that are ordinarily available by a request request and get header technical for getting header to reactive use uh, through reactive a uh, using agent header uh, from example use the team here you can see a code example you can go through it 
the following example the following is an example of how to get header parameters called user agent here you can see a code example you can go through it the header value object returns a string array return the then signal a string value list have as an overloop This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.